How has your training camp been so far with the Cincinnati Bengals? Uh, my training camp, I feel like it's been good. Um, just, you know, attacking one day at a time, uh, trying to just learn the offense as best as I can and, you know, make plays, whether it's in a run game, the pass game, uh, helping my team any ways I can. So I feel like it's been good. Um, you know, always room to improve and always things to build on. But, you know, so far, uh, you know, it's been good. I know Burrow obviously is out right now, but how has your relationship developed since you've been here? Uh, yeah, it's growing every day. Um, obviously, he's not at practice right now, but, you know, in the meeting rooms and things like that, he's very active. Um, and, you know, just showing him that we can make plays as, as a group, uh, as, uh, you know, receivers, as tight ends, running backs, the O-line, uh, just building that confidence. I mean, he's, he's a leader of this team, and, you know, we believe in him more than anybody. So um, it's awesome having a guy like that to, you know, to lean on because, you know, in big games and stuff like that, uh, it's, it's really going to matter. And I've got to ask what you did in the offseason. I've been watching you in camp. It does not seem like the heat has affected you. Um, I don't know how you're able to pull that off, but how did you prepare for training camp this year? Uh, I was actually, I was down in New Orleans and Miami a little bit training, so I was in the heat a lot. Yeah, okay. so the second the second day of training camp, it, it got me. Uh, I don't, nobody really seen it. I, I had caught some cramps and stuff, but uh, I bounced back from that and, and we good now. Just figured, figured out the right routine. Can't get in the hot tub and stuff before practice. So when is when is that hot? Yeah. I've noticed that a few guys like to take note of how much weight they lose during a practice. Do you do that too or no? Yeah, they weigh us uh, when we first come in and then you know after practice. So yeah, usually like it's a good at least five pounds, six pounds. Sometimes like yeah, sometimes seven if it's a, a, a rougher practice. I haven't weighed myself out yet, so we'll see. We'll see soon. I noticed a lot of guys with smoothies and ice cream. Did you dive into that or no? I gotta eat dinner first. So what time is it? That is so proper of you. Lunch, dinner. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta eat. You know what I'm saying? My food and then eat the, eat the ice cream. They're here until like 5:30, so I gotta, I gotta eat my food soon and get to that. Okay, so you're raised in a way where you gotta eat your good food first and then you have ice cream after. Yeah, especially if I'm losing weight. So then, <laughs> if I'm losing like five, six pounds, then I eat ice cream and then I'm not as hungry for the real food. Then it's like, you know, my parents, they, I, I feel like they taught me right. Hey, I raised my kids the same way. It's all good. Uh, last question for you. You came to a team with a massive chip on its shoulder. Um, do you feel that sense around this building? Yeah, that's definitely the energy around this building. Um, you know, from the players to the coaches to the ownership, uh, everybody. I mean, that's it's a standard um, that's, that's set, and, and it's something that I don't take lightly. It's something that, you know, we come to work every day with, with that on our mind. Um, and, and yeah.